What's up folks to another video, this is an entire series where we walk you guys through how to build a Merge Stack application from scratch. If this is your first time on this channel, this is where we help you become a full stack developer. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and we'll be right with you after the pause. Now in this particular video, we got everything fully working. However, things doesn't look as nice. We're gonna try to do the best that we can to get it to a point that at least looks acceptable. Now again, you can feel free to use Bootstrap, whatever you guys wanna use. Again, this goal behind this entire series is not to kind of be fancy, it's to kind of really show you how the pieces work connected, which we're almost done. The only last piece remaining is pushing this guy to Heroku and how to automatically deploy every single time that we push to GitHub. So let's do CSS. So in order for me to do this, I'm going to go inside the client folder, go inside the app, the SOC file. I'm going to go inside the app.js and all the way on the top, I'm going to go here and import that CSS file that I have. I'm referring to the app.js that we had from the baller plate. So I'm gonna bring that file in there and make sure that you use the end.css. So that's how we're gonna start styling that. So I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna open them separately side by side for us to see it. I'm gonna drag it to the side. For us to see what we're working with, I'm gonna delete all of this guy. And we're gonna focus on that JSX and also focus on that guy's right here. So first of all, I'm gonna give the entire div that contain everything a class call. I'm gonna give it a class call app and I'm gonna select this app and give them a padding of 10 pixel, which we don't want them to stay too close to the window. We wanna give them some padding. And what that's gonna do is check this out. They're too close to that window. So we're gonna give them some padding. So if we go here and refresh and there you go, they're not that sticky to the window. Second, we're gonna target that form in particular. So they're kinda too stick to it other, which if we take a look at them here, they both have a class called form that input. So I can go here and come here and select that form that input. And I'm going to give them a margin top and bottom to 10 pixel and left and right to zero pixel. If we take a look at now, now they're not that stick to each other. The second thing I want to style is I'm going to style these guys right here. They're pretty uh, simple to start. What I'm going to do is, and there they come in right here. So these are these guys. I'm talking about the H13 and, and P tag. I'm going to give this uh, this guy right here a class name. I'm going to call this guy Black Post Display, something like that. Okay. So I'm going to copy this class, take it all the way to my CSS. I'm going to first give them a border one pixel solid light gray. And let's see how that looks like so far. So that looks like this. So we kind of have it looks like this. Second, I'm going to give them some space between each other. So I'm going to go here again, a margin probably five pixel top and bottom, left and right zero. Let's see how that looks. There you go, looks much more easier. We're gonna give a border radius, four pixel, and that little border corner will change, so good. And then again, these texts are kind of to stick to, to that corner, so we're gonna give them padding, like probably 10 pixels, something like that. And there you go, at least that's looking way better than what we had before. So I think I'm pretty happy with this so far, so I'm not gonna go any crazier than that. Now let's go back to that form and really focus into style them, making them a little bit better. So let's start with the button because this is the only button in the page I'm gonna just go here and just select that by the element itself like button first I'm gonna give this one a background color of 007 BFF which is a blue and I'm gonna give them a color of white FFF and let's see how that looks that looks fancier can I give them part of that 375 RAM and that 75 rem. We have something that looks like this. I'm gonna give them a font size of one rem, make it bigger, and a line height 1.5. Let's see. And bo and border radius that 25 rem. I want the cursor to be pointer. What that means is currently, if I go here, you see there isn't any pointer on them. So now when the point when the cursor is pointer, now that's going to go here and now we can point that to them. I think I'm pretty happy with the button the way it is right now. So let's move on and style the last piece guy right here. Okay. So if I take a look at them, they, they all within the same div, which is this one and all the div, they have the same class, which is this one right here. But however, this one is an input and this one is a text area. What I want to do is this. I want to do form input, select the input, 
and then I want to do form and put and also select the text area so that I can target both of them at the same time. What I want to give them is a width of 100% let's see how that looks like of course that's gonna go all the way through what I, I don't I don't want this so I'm gonna go here and select the form I'm gonna make the form equal to 50% which means they can only go 100% of the 50% of the form and that looks like this I'm gonna go here and give them a font size as one rim as well let's take a look and see how that looks like that text get bigger I'm gonna give them a line height as well 1.5 1. get bigger too nice for the radius Oops, that looks a little bit weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a border, one pixels solid, solid light gray again, something very basic and let's see what happened. Much better. I'm giving them a little bit of padding, 375 RAM and then that 75 RAM. Let's see what that does. And there you go, we have something that looks like this, which I'm super happy with this. The only thing is whenever we click on this, we don't want this blue things to select. So I'm gonna go here and do outline none. Let's see if that works. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done with our styling. Look at that. We might need to do the same thing for the button to kind of add that outline none. So when we click this button, it won't be selected to blue. And ladies and gentlemen, our application looks much better than before. And let's see if this still works. So I'm gonna add a new post. I'm gonna add a third post. I am happy with my app and click submit. And there you go, the third one got down there and everything is looking super, super nice. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to deploy this application to Heroku. And see you guys in the next video.